welcome to Good Mythical More. Uh, sometimes you wanna cry, sometimes you wanna cut onions. Sometimes you wanna cut the onion that's gonna make you wanna cry the most. Or it's just gonna make you cry the most. Okay. So we're going to, we're gonna cut these onions and see which one makes us cry the most. Um, but first, we're gonna play a game that I think you'll win. We're gonna play list them all back and forth until we run out. I don't like it when you say, yeah, I think I'm gonna win something. No, d d dude, you're the musicolo musicologist, music historian, <sighs> rappers, Q-tip. Oh, any rappers? Yeah. DMX. Any rappers? Nas. Uh, Kendrick. Fife Dog. Uh, Dre. Drake. Um, YG. Eminem. Uh, uh, Moneybag Yo. <laughs> Snoop Dogg. Uh, Juice World, 24K Golden. Um, uh, this is taking you too Flash. long, man. Yeah, Cool Mo D. <laughs> <laughs> uh, See, you put so much pressure on me, I can't do it. I hate listing things. Listen, if we, I hate thinking fast. If we had to just list it on a sheet of paper, you would win. So you get this. You get this W. Uh, Money Bag Yo. I, can we get him on the show? Man, I love his voice. Money Bag Yo. Yeah. What's, what is it about his voice? Huh? What is it about his voice that you love? Um, he, he, Do an he's, impersonation. He's got a Me no, he's got a Memphis <laughs> accent. He's uh, from Memphis. Okay. Uh, pull up Moneybag Yo. I just wanna look at a picture of him. Oh, with two Gs. Yeah, yeah. Man. You just did Money Bag Money Bag Yolk. Yolk? Yeah, there he is. Okay, I just looked at a picture of him. Okay. Um, you, you know the thing that got me? I have name fright, but I do know rappers. So it's like you put the two together and I'm like, oh man. I even thought I was saying Moneybag Yo wasn't even actually his name. Yeah, I thought it was Moneybag Yoke. Um, oh, here. We, um, we each have our own uh, are you allowed? knife. Are you allowed to have a knife? Well, it's a, it's, it, it's a, it's a rubber knife. I mean, it's, it, look at that. It's a very real black real knife. made out of rubber. It's uh, like a dark saber. Pass what is me a, a cutting board. Um, I'm a little nervous. Oh gosh. So here's your cutting board, and I'm gonna have to take my glasses off for this. But yeah, you know what? On our uh, on our highly active Retinlink vlog channel, yep. we we learned the proper way to cut onions, and. I, that, and I do it every I, single time I cut onions now. And I used a knife. That's my point, is that I did use a knife and it wasn't the end of the world. Okay, well, you know what? I We've mean. Got, do we have a medic here? Do we, do we have those? Uh, we have no medic here. Do we have those uh, gloves that knights wear so you can't cut yourself? You're gonna start with the. We're, we're gonna, gonna start we're with going the in, that, in that order. See, so here I am. So nervous. Uh, using a knife. I mean, you guys might wanna just say, Link uses a knife, you know? Just kinda write that on the thumbnail. That could be, that could be what you to click, what got you to click, left the word got out. I think I already did the wrong thing. Well, first of all, not only am I using a knife, I don't have my glasses on, so I can't even see that well. Cause okay, cause the glasses are a barrier for the fumes that keep you from. Uh, yeah, so you want to keep that part intact. Oh gosh, you want to keep that part intact, and you cut this this part flat, and then you do that, okay, and so then you, you cut better, you through. The okay, I, okay, I wasn't. Oh, no, I was wrong. Yeah, and then you cut through that like that, and then you set it down, and you cut towards this root. Cut through. So now. Long no, 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 no. You, you cut remember. that flat so you can hold it like that. And now you cut right through that. Oh yeah. Which I guess, I don't know if that's the root or the stem. I don't, I th I don't know which one it is. I mean, it's really about sniffing it to see if. And then you gotta peel you it. Cry. But what is it? No, it's not sniffing it, it's, it's looking at it. <laughs> I mean. Like the fumes get in your eyes. It's not that they go up through your nose and make you cry. The fumes actually get in your eyes. Okay. Then, man, I always I cry like crazy at home when I'm cutting these, but for some reason you do. It doesn't happen as much here, because you because you're you have performance anxiety. <laughs> yeah, 
Uh, but I did pee in front it's of like everyone me on the show. It's like me naming rappers. I think there's something about the airflow in here. There's like higher ceilings or something. So it doesn't. What about s snot? Can we get snot on the show? That's a rapper? I don't think you pronounce the dollar sign, but it's like dollar sign not. Pretty sure it's just snot. Don't gesture with your knife, please. Okay, so. Should have removed that skin because that's keeping it from. Uh... I mean, I definitely have just done the normal thing and I'm a lot closer to it than I normally would be. Maybe it's just that white onions don't have much pungency. Hmm. You know what, I'm gonna talk directly to Snot. Snot, uh, open invitation, come on the show. Unless there's something problematic in your, like, that I don't know about, that like, I don't wanna get drawn in anything like that. Yeah, yeah, nice disclaimer. So, so I mean, these aren't bad. Um, Oh, I'm gonna move on to yellow, and I'm gonna actually do it right from the beginning. So I'm so I'm not crying either. I'm not crying. Not crying. Not bleeding. And now is it like this? Isn't very sci okay. Now first of all, as soon as I cut the yellow onion open, it's an insane amount of reaction in my eyes. Is that right? All, I mean, all I did was just cut it open. And I was about to say, I don't know how scientific this is because it might be cumulative, you know, and that, that's why the white one didn't do much because it was first. But I have to believe that there's a distinct difference between the yellow and the white. And what I want you to do is I want you to look up and see if, there, if there's like a scientific conclusion about this that agrees with what we're discovering. But don't look it up yet. Oh yeah. Don't look it up yet, he says. I mean, it's, it's just immediately more noticeable. So what's it called? A brown onion? <laughs> A yellow onion. Really? Mm-hmm. There's nothing yellow about it. Um, you know, if, that's, if you're not crying yet, I'm gonna read something that might make you cry. Okay. Um, we got a letter from one Kyle Copeland from Tennessee. Uh, you may remember way back in the day, we've actually done this a couple of times, we've highlighted one of our favorite charities, bethematch.org, which basically um, encourages people to donate or encourages people to register in their system uh, and then to potentially donate bone marrow for people who need it for life-saving bone marrow transplants. Um, and we, so we, we highlighted um, a story on the show. We brought the two guys, the one guy that was the donor and the one guy that was the recipient and they had become friends. Um, this is working. And then, yes, yeah, much worse, isn't it? Uh, well, anyway, we got this letter uh, about a month ago. Red Link, my name is Kyle. I'm 67 years old and in 2020 was diagnosed with leukemia, specifically chronic myeloid leukemia. There's not really any way to get rid of this without a bone marrow transplant. Thankfully, there was a man, Corbin's vocal, who was watching your program and became aware of an institution called Be The Match that connects donors with the ill. Corbin signed up, donated 5,370,000 stem cells wow. on November 17th, 2020. I had the transplant the next day. I am free of cancer. Healthy, happy, and thankful that the world is speckled with good folk. <laughs> much the world is speckled with good folk. Much thanks to you guys for Many your content about Be The Match. Peace and love, Kyle. Look at that, guys. We saved a freaking life. Well, we didn't, Corbin did. Yeah. But we were part of the process. And we were part, of the, were part of the process of saving a life. And you know what? We weren't like the, it's like if a paramedic picks up someone and saves their life, it's like we, we were kind of like, we weren't the driver, but we we were like a guy on the side of the road who like the 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 paramedic was like, no, the driver of the ambulance was like, hey, I need to find a paramedic, mm -hmm. and uh, we were right. like, well, we'll we'll start shouting. Anybody, any any paramedics want to show up? And yeah. sh the, a, a paramedic showed up on the corner. One of them got in this ambulance, and then he was like, where do I go? And we're like. Go to be the match.org. I think I have a better analogy. And then, 
We're like the guy on the plane when somebody falls ill next to you and you just say, is there a doctor on the plane? Yeah. We're not the doctor, we're just the guy who said, is there a doctor on the plane? It does put it in perspective. It's like, how many times have you seen someone who said, is there a doctor on the plane interviewed on like Good Morning America? <laughs> right. It's yeah. like, yeah, it's like the guy next I to me was there. like. I was there, I said, is there a doctor? He's having a problem and uh, yeah, I was the one who yelled it. Um, but yeah, we're still pretty stoked. What we are asking you to do, because this is exactly what happened with Corbin and Kyle, uh, go to be thematch.org and click on join and you can very easily register. Uh, so again, registering is not donating. Registering is just swabbing yourself well, yeah, so what that happened, you get entered into the you, system so they can find you when they have got somebody who needs the, the bone marrow that would match yours. Let's walk through it. So you register, you answer a few questions about your medical history, they determine if you're a fit for the registry, and if you are, you proceed to the next step, they'll mail you uh, a kit, a swab kit. Um, you'll swab to determine your HLA type and enter, and they'll enter you into the registry, and then that, then you just sit back and, and wait. I, I registered back then, and I haven't, been contacted. Most likely. Nobody's I mean, been matched with me. Most likely you won't be contacted. But uh, being on the registry isn't a guarantee that you'll be matched and it takes many months or years to find out. But if you're identified as a potential match, they move very quickly, you could be the only option for a searching patient. Uh, yeah, the so way, the way that amazing. this thing works, just from a, I don't know anything about the human body, but um, the way that it works is it has, doesn't have anything to do with you being genetically related. It's not like, oh, well, my my dad or my mom could probably help. That's not how it works. It's just this random H, what is it, the HLA type? Is it HLA type. HLA type. Which is, there's lots of different types, and it's very specific. It's like a fingerprint. It's like, oh, there's somebody else out there that might have this same thing, and it's just a really cool way that you can help somebody else that you are not related to. I'm just gonna rake all of this into my crotch for later. Is that okay with yeah. you? Yeah, but you gotta, but you gotta register. You gotta register in order to be a part of the the system and potentially be a part of a really cool story like that, saving somebody's life. Be, be the, the match. Match. org. <sighs> okay. Mm. Sorry. Um. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna celebrate the the yellow onion. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move to the red onion, okay. which you've already, you're, you're already, you're already going to town, man. Um, okay, now I'm not, okay, oh, okay, now we go, there we go. I'm getting, okay, I'm getting some pretty intense offage here. Offage? Yeah. Fumage? Well, this might rival a yellow onion. Fumage in your plumage. And maybe it makes sense that the more pigment there is in the onion, the more, the re okay. Red onion's worse than yellow onion. Just in my very non-scientific estimation right here. That's a theory. Because okay. of the pigments, huh? Yellow is stronger than white and red is stronger than yellow. But they all are all precious in his sight. You're already moved on. Oh yeah, that is strong. Um, Maybe it's about the same. I don't like cutting the I'm, back of the I'm onion. I'm feeling it from yours now, man. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? You crying, man? You oh crying? yeah. I, when you were reading the letter, I couldn't open my right eye. Okay, this is getting so intense. Red yeah. is so, so strong. <sighs> oh yeah, oh yeah, it kind of feels good. Okay, well, moving on to the my Girl. right eye is is getting it worse. What does that mean? Oh, 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 look at you. I didn't actually get through any of it. Well, I figured Ready? out, if you turn the onion around, then it won't go into your fingers. <laughs> turn Bless you. Onion what? If you turn the onion around so that the, um, the slope goes away from your fingers, it won't bring the knife into your, uh, your fingers. Oh, he's doing it. It's not bad. Let me see if I can put it right on your eyeball. Touch my eyeball with it. You want to? You're blinking too much. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, oh. I mean, oh. He... What did you do, man? You touched my freaking eyeball. You, it, you, I just did what you told me to do. 
Dude, freaking, oh man, oh man, my nose, my right nose is running my, too. My right nose. Oh my gosh. Oh uh, my gosh, dude, why, hey, why'd, a, you, why'd you freaking do that? When a man says, touch my eyeball with an onion, I'm not gonna say, okay, no. I didn't think, I trusted you, man. I trusted you. Actually, to, I didn't touch it. I touched your eyelid. Oh man, my eyes are going nuts you, right you now. You touched, something ran down into my eye. Oh, you're crying. <laughs> hey, that's what we were looking for, though. We're looking for the real cry. Uh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. I'm uncomfortable with your noises. <laughs> oh. Wow, man. So yeah, the worse than cutting onions is just touching them directly to your eyeball. What, I mean, is, what does Healthline say about that? I mean, this this eyeball is connected to this nostril because like yeah. this thing started running yeah, and then a tube. this thing started running too. But this eye and this nose over here, when I was a kid I used to call them noses. Yeah, I see that, you're still doing it. I mean, I'm dripping snot, dude. That's no place to be. Oh, oh my gosh. It's cleaning you out a little bit. Oh. Shallots. Oh. I've always felt a little bit fancy when we get shallots. Well, those onions, no, they're shallots. They're just a little different in ways that I can't describe. Are you sure they're not shallows? They shallows? Might be, they might be shallows. See, turn that around now. What do you mean, turn T it around? Turn this around, don't hold it like that. Hold it like this. Who am I giving you safety instructions? Hold it like that. Well, I was done with it. No? Because now I was gonna you, just cut this you up. You have to. And. <laughs> okay, here, just take a strip of it and put it up to my eye. Okay, you want me to touch it with it? You're a, let me touch your other eye with a shallot. Uh, quick reminder: check out the Mythical Kitchen channel. It you know I'm gonna start calling it a sister channel. It's a sister. You want to touch it? No, no. <laughs> it it's not no, no, no. it's not doing anything. It's Shallots a, are very. It's like neat. a sister channel to Good Mythical Morning, but uh, and we talk occasionally, but we don't live together. It's like a sister that's moved out. But you, but like my daughter moved but, out, but and then her brother so, still live. We do kind of live together. They're, in, they're all in the same. Oh, roof. Yeah, we're in the same roof. But like, yeah, it's, it, it's different YouTube channels. You need to go to an. You need to go to like an analogy class. I got a new series called Last Meals. Uh, How to do analogies? Uh, you mentioned Twenty Four K Golden because you know he's a rapper because he was a guest on Last Meals. I already knew he was a rapper. Guests are invited to discuss. Uh, the last meal, the, 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 what they want to be their last meal. Oh, my eyes but they also really discuss hurt. life, death, existential dread. Shallots um, are worth it. And it's, um, it's a fun show. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's gaining momentum. Oh, shallots are the worst. Good gracious. Are shallots the worst? Can you look that up? No, you put it up to my eye and nothing happened. Corbin Blue. Maybe Corbin I'm, Blue? Maybe Corbin I'm, Blue is on this show. I'm, oh. I'm still still t doing that. Do we get any Who's, who's Corbin Blue? I, I don't know who There's that is. There's like, yeah, High School Musical. There, high School there Musical? There are um, You're into that? a lot of different theories and debates on this particular subject. Um, it could be the amount of sulfur that an onion gets from the soil that it grows in. So the more sulfur, the more it makes you cry. But hmm. in general, the sweeter the onion, the less it's supposed to make you cry. So the more pungent the onion, uh, the more it makes you cry. And I thought it had something to do with freshness, but it doesn't have anything to do with freshness at all. And there's also an article about how actually onions can make men cry more Yeah, we're than very women. emotional. Men cry a lot, cry all the time. But only when they're comfortable. You guys have got that graham cracker crust, yeah. perfect. We that is exactly guys. right. Dense and buttery, it's the only mm -hmm. way to go. But that, mm, that mm -hmm. crunch with it. So hearty. So good and so tight, I want my lips to pucker. Yeah.